Hi everybody, Jake Slobodnik for Render Digital TV and your hometown stations here with the Pence Manor track team led by 21-year head coach Tom Huber and this interview brought to you by Robindale Energy. Coach, you guys are gearing up for another busy, busy track season. How are you guys preparing uh, on and off the track uh, for 2024? We are currently in our third day of practice. We're doing uh, exercise stations and we've had a chance to be out on the track for the last two days. First time in 21 years that we've been able to on the track on the first day of the season. It's always good when you can get outside as early yeah, as yeah, possible. It is. Yeah, it is. But uh, looking back to last year, uh, what are some of the biggest uh, things you're looking forward to in terms of how the team is going to improve in 2024? We have the best turnout of athletes we've had since COVID. I was we're real surprised and pleasantly surprised at the numbers we have it looks like we have some real strong kids and we have some strong individuals coming back this year from last year two school record holders are back this year to hope hopefully improve their records uh i think we're going to be significantly improved from from last year looking at you personally what are some of the biggest things that you're excited for heading into 2024 to see from the team just the enthusiasm. I see nice enthusiasm with the kids. I see a can-do attitude. Awesome. All right, Coach. Well, thank, hey, thanks for the time. Best of luck this season. Thank you, sir. That's Coach Tom Huber. You want to head to the back of the line? We'll bring some of the uh, athletes up front here, starting with Braden Pytash. He does a lot. He does the 400, the long jump, 200, and 100. Boy, that's a big smorgasbord of events there. How do you stay physically and mentally focused on prepping for all four? It's just going to practice and just keep working. And you just have to, on rest days, you have to really treat yourself. You can't have junk food. You can't just sit around and do nothing at the stretch. Well, uh, how have you been sort of putting in the work here? I know it's only day three of actual practice, but what are some ways that you've been staying uh, prepped and ready to go here in the early parts of the season to get ready for track season? You just have to go to practice, and then afterwards, like I like doing weightlifting. I did on in the off season. Just keep your body in shape and that. Eat healthy. Among your four events, is there one that you favor the most? Uh, definitely long jump. I'm almost, I'm almost beating the record for the school. And, uh, you know, looking at that event, I feel like one of the biggest things, you know, just to the common viewer is you look at it and say, okay, well, you run, you jump, that's about it. But it takes a lot more than that. How do you, as a long jumper, prep for that event? It's just a lot of technique because if you're off just by a little bit, you can scratch and that won't count as a jump. Or you have to get the right speed because if you don't, then you just haul off. Coach mentioned that there is a big number of track, uh, track and field athletes coming out this year, which surprised him, but I think it really speaks to the, the caliber of the Penns Manor track and field team. Are you excited to see this program grow this season? Oh, yeah, because last year we only had six kids. Now we have a lot more. It's really exciting to see a lot of enthusiasm, like what Coach Hoover said. Awesome. Hey, Braden, thanks for the time. Best of luck this year. Thank you. All right, and then we'll move on down the line to Alex Plenick. He does the shot put and the discus, more of a field thrower. So uh, how are you getting in shape for 2024? I've been lifting constantly over basketball season, and I've uh, participated in the indoor circuit of throws, just primarily shot put. How has the indoor track season really helped prep you for 2024? It's helped me work on my technique, help on improving my marks, and help me grow in strength. It's overall just got me more familiar with the circle. Are there any challenges uh, to prepping for your field events? I know you said technique is a big thing, but what are some of the challenges that you face, you know, in terms of preparation? Uh, you can even, if it's a bad week that you have during practice, you can hit a mental block sometimes, but it's always important just to get past that because it's only one, two throws. It doesn't have to make your whole career. The numbers for the Penns Manor track team have grown exponentially over the course of the year. I know I mentioned that to Braden and Coach, but uh, you know, from your point of view, uh, how do, what does that say about the Penns Manor track program seeing these numbers grow like that? It tells me that there's a lot of people that are becoming more interested in track, and it's a really important thing because track can reach out into any type of sport. It can help you in football. It can help you in basketball. It can even help you in whatever you do, swimming even, too. Between shot and discus, is there a favorite one for you? I'd say discus. How come? Uh, I I hold the record at school for that at 165 feet three inches, and it's what I pl I placed fifth at the PIAA state meet last year with it. You looking to break your record this year? I'm hoping so. Well, we'll see what you can do. Hey, Alex, thanks for the time. Best of luck this season. Thank you.
It's Alex Planick. We'll move on down the line to Jillian Bowman. She does pole vault, the 4x8, and the 4x4. Four four. So three events for her. How excited are you to get back in the swing of things for track season? I'm very excited. I've been training on the off season, and I'm ready to go for this year. There's a lot more people coming into the Pennsylvania track program this year, and I think that really speaks to how well Coach Huber runs things and how people have really bought in. Can you just sort of speak from your point of view how awesome it is to see this program grow? Yeah, I think it's amazing that it's growing and people realizing that in track you don't have to sit the bench. Everyone gets to participate, and we're all a team. Well, uh, you also run the 4x8 there with your partner, Andrea Swartz. You know, what's that team looking like this year? It looks like it's going to be a, a pretty big group of uh, girls and really talented group of girls as well. Yeah, it's going to be really great this year because we have all the same seniors as we did last year, and we really improved last year. So, What are your personal goals for 2024? My personal goal is to beat my own record in pole vault. Last year I broke the school record at 10 feet, so this year I'm going for 11 feet. Well, it's going to be exciting. What are some of the ways that you are putting in the work here, uh, not just in the early days of the track season, but also in the off season? How, what have you done to prepare for this year? Um, in the off season, I have been running and weightlifting every day and making sure diet is on spot, uh, just getting sleep, making sure everything's healthy. A very disciplinary schedule. All right. Hey, uh, Jillian, we appreciate the time. Best of luck, and uh, go break that record this year in pole vault. All right. Thank you very much. That's Jillian Bowman. And then we'll get to our last comment here. Andrea Schwartz, 4x8, the 800-meter, and the mile race as well. That's a lot of running you got to do, and I know it's going to, you know, it requires a lot of conditioning. Uh, what were some? Uh, how are you working to make sure your conditioning is at its top shape? You just got to keep running. Always keep running. Just keeping healthy, a lot of diet, just watching everything. What are some of the ways you're putting in the work in the weight room as well to stay physically and mentally in shape for this year? Uh, not a lot of weight room because the more muscle you put on, the more you got to carry when you run, but just a lot of legs, keeping your arms good, core is really important too when you run. So, Program grew as well, and I think that really speaks to the success of the Penns Manor track program. How excited are you to see all these new, pe these new faces come into the track program and try to win for themselves. Oh, I'm super excited. I'm glad to see all the effort and the interest in the program because it was dwindling and I'm happy to see that it's coming back. So. Looking at all your events, is there one that you favorite the most? Probably the 800. I like it because there's so much room to improve and there's so much competition there and it's such a mental race. That race is all mental. So. Now you and Jillian are part of the 4x8 team uh, and I asked her this and I'll ask you this, you know, um, you know, what's that group looking like? You know, obviously a strong group of athletes and talented group of athletes as well but from your outlook what's the 4x8 team looking like this year? I think it's looking good we got a lot of strong girls a lot of people that come back and relays are really good that you need to have the experience for it so I'm really excited for this relay. Well it's going to be exciting to see you guys on the track and on the field this year so Andrea best of luck. Thank you. It's Andrea Schwartz along with her teammates Jillian Bowman, Alex Polenik, Braden Pytash and coach Tom Huber of the Penns Manor Comets and this interview brought to you by Robindale. We'll check in from First Commonwealth Bank Field in Homer City a little bit later on Renda Digital TV in your hometown stations.